Welcome back. My name is Andy Melendrez and I'm your War II City Council member and also the host of Good Neighbor Riverside. And today is Cinco de Mayo. There are many celebrations going on locally yet small because of the COVID-19 matter, but we have one we want to cover with you today. And this is an event that's happening in our East Side community. Let me introduce to you Ruben Hitron, who is one of the coordinators of this event. Ruben, thank you for joining us today. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Blessed in the Lord. All right. Tell us a little bit about your event. Uh, what we come up with is with all that's going on and um, with the luncheons that are going on in the parks, the, the great job that the Riverside Unified School District is doing, uh, we just felt that we wanted to help and add to that and open up our church parking lot here at Riverside Peacemakers um, to give out free luncheons, especially on a day like this that we celebrate the Cinco de Mayo. I felt like, what can I give back to the community on Cinco de Mayo? Everybody's closed up. The fiestas are down. I said, hey, let's come up with a burrito meal and start distributing them to the community and in our way of not just celebrating Cinco de Mayo, but giving back to the community here in the East Side. Great. So this is actually a burrito giveaway, a, a, a yes. meal giveaway. Yes, it's, it, you, you get a, a, a burrito, you get some chips and a drink. Um, it's been sponsored. Um, um, uh, we're working, uh, working side by side with uh, Zacatecas Cafe here from Riverside, the Medina family, Vicky and John. Um, thanking them once again for helping us. But once again, it's a community function and God put it in my heart to give back. I believe this won't be the last one because uh, I noticed here in our community, here locally, especially where I'm at here, where we're based at is we see a lot of young people out there young kids, small kids, older kids are just sitting around, just sitting on the curb, not doing very much, but I think we could do things positive such as this, not only giving back a burrito for the day, but I believe it's helping our inner families here. Um, they might be lacking uh, money for lunch for the kids, can't go to McDonald's, can't go here. So I feel that today is the beginning of things that we want to continue to do here in our community. Yeah, you have a lot of individuals there that are volunteers that are very uh, committed to the east side, improving the east side, and this is one way they're giving back to the community. Yeah, uh, one of my connections is here. Um, uh, Nateno Moreno, uh, I, was, I was blessed to know that he's going to church here at Victory Outreach. And uh, since I found out he's based there, I've been interacting with him and uh, trying to work with whatever he got going on. And I believe with you, our two ministries and uh, the collaboration of the community businesses that uh, we could do great things here in our community here in Eastside. Great. Now tell us a little bit about Peacemakers, you mentioned that a little bit earlier. Tell us what, you're do, what you do in the East Side. Uh, Riverside Peacemaker was established in 1993. It was established during the Rodney King riots. They were, the city of Riverside were trying to suppress the violence from coming to this part of our community. And at that time, the, the city hall had came up um, with some ideas, but as, uh, and like I said, in this manner, as the uh, uh, Rodney King violence can to simmer down so that they try to even what they try to put together simmer down at that time my pastor was joseph l sims uh he took it upon himself to say you know what we're not going to bring this to an end we gathered 100 kids here in the community um to start a youth organization so riverside peacemaker started out as a youth organization um here in the east side it was established in 1993 by joseph and beatrice sims and since that day we have continued here in the community which now we're in 2020 so we've been around a long time. I, I thank God that we have outlasted a lot of youth programs, a lot of things that are going on in the community. God has just blessed us where we're at, where we're based at, and um, uh, with Del Roberts, you yourself, Emil Moore, all the people, Ron Leverage, everyone that's recognized us, even the new chief, our new chief of police. He's um, known me since 1993, and um, he's so glad that, um, that we're continuing going forward here. Great. Sounds like a fantastic program. Obviously, yes. very active in the east side, yes, uh, well we connected with the community. And today, celebrating Cinco de Mayo, the prep food preparation is being made by Zacatecas. Yes. So give us the address. Do you know the address? I, I know yes. exactly where you're at, but do you have the address? We're at 2355 Pennsylvania Avenue here in the city of Riverside, 92507. Our phone number is 951 uh, three, 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 five, three, four, four. Um, come out, get some free meals. Uh, there's no limits. Uh, just come in. We know with the COVID going on, a lot of kids can't come out. So the parent pulls up and they need six meals to go. Six meals they'll get. There's no Great. limits. Fantastic. So, so there you have it. Burrito giveaway, Pennsylvania Avenue, 
peacemakers, Zacatecas, community volunteers doing good things for the community. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Pastor, for Pastor Kitron, for, for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.